How you doing, YouTube? It's big time Tommy coming at you. Oh, we're making podcasts over here. Um, I sound like a used car dealer from New Jersey, even though that's what I was before Instagram, but it's okay because I'm big time Tommy. And Let me tell don't you forget that. Right? Take it take easy. It easy. Only, only the Italians talk like that, and they're not from Jersey. They're from Staten Island. Don't confuse Jersey with Staten Island. Oh, it's right? all the same. All area. those Jersey Shore Big people. Big Tommy, I Staten love you so much. Island. Just know that. <laughs> I want to be in too. front of the video. <laughs> Grandpa. We out here, boys. Wow. What's good? Wow. It's going. It's been a long time. Yeah, a week. week. One full week. Wow. A new week, new hoodie. And then, uh, Zach, you got a new I got hat. a different shirt on today. I have no hat. At the police academy this week. That's good. You know. <laughs> All right. So, you know, the, when we first started this podcast, we were calling it the Squadcast just as a you know, little thing. But our boy Armando he came up with a new, new slogan. Tell him what it is. The weekly commute. Oh, man. Just bang. so cringy that it's good. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bong. All right. So, money. Yeah, money, exactly. So the <laughs> weekly commute. You know, we're all confined to our homes right now, so there is no commute. And it's also 9 o'clock at night. So uh, that, this is about the right time that us car people do our commutes to nowhere. <laughs> to so, make anyway, go, my friend. <laughs> welcome to the weekly commute. My name is Vulcan. What's going on? I'm Zach. Cool cars for sale. Finally got an Instagram. You can oh. follow me at Z Crams. I'll put it everyone. Wow. Right, right there. Right. Yeah, that's that's big news for yeah. me to have an Insta. Wow. We've all been begging him forever. He was an Instagram <laughs> fan for a while. So Armand. They introduced themselves. I'm Armand with a lonely driver. Also have a YouTube now. No, you okay. don't. I did. I sent it in the chat. Oh, did you? Okay, I'll put I it on. I have Yo. a YouTube. Lonely Driver, Florida. Go subscribe. Yeah, subscribe and don't watch any videos because there's watch not... all the videos because I'm gonna be posting a lot of content. Don't hold me to it, but uh, all right. Well, content. there's your one minute intro. Three car guys, the me weekly commute, Velocity Crew. Bing bong. Oh, I mean, you guys are technically part of the Velocity Crew. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. You know, we the we the conglomerate. All right. So we have. Hopefully the mic that was pretty satisfying. So we got some interesting topics to talk about today. Uh, first up, well, actually, we're, we're two main topics, and you just never know what's going to happen. Uh, first up, we're going to talk about some of the coolest supercars from the 2000s, just mm -hmm. because that's when Armand was born. So you know, we want to commemorate the cars that are made <laughs> his time. I'm born in the mid 2000s. Was even born in the mid 2000s. And then uh, we're going to talk about, in our opinion, uh, VinWiki did a nice uh, segment this past week about uh, uh, best cars under 10 grand, and we wanted to give our own take. Uh, so we're going to talk about some of the best cars we think you can get under 10 grand. A more mm -hmm. methodical take, in my personal opinion. We'll see what Armand has to come up with. I'm not going to pick what they pick. <laughs> we'll see what BMW Armand comes up with. Nope. <laughs> and uh yeah and then you might get some other updates along the way but uh you boys ready to jump into the first topic all right so we made this easy we went on a uh, road and track and in fact we looked at this uh ahead of time and it's it really is a good list like i mean we're we really like some of the cars on here but yeah you know, just uh gonna go through them here and and let's see what the boys think so Dodge Viper ACR. This is not the first ACR because, you know, the generation before this, they did have an ACR as well that nobody really knows about. I've seen one in person. Yep. But this car, uh, it stood out to me when it set the Nürburgring record and it beat the ZR1 and the GTR. Yeah. Pretty cool car. You don't see too many of them. I, I personally don't really know why the Dodge Viper never really sold well. Um, they're priced pretty well at MSRP. I, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, well, have you looked at the latest prices? The <laughs> the ACR extremes and all that stuff are going yeah. for like a buck fifty, buck sixty, easy. Yeah, exactly. you know, now that they've stopped making them, everybody went out and and, and I go guess. But initially, they didn't really sell too well. I don't know. 
Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Not Viper, huge... Vipers have always, Vi so if you like Vipers, you were in a, like your own little segment. Like yep. you know, Viper owners are a very tightly knit crew like you know especially on like social media they all know each other right so you really yeah. gotta like vipers it's not like having like an m3 or you know like a porsche 911 or something right i mean you you have to really like live and breathe vipers yeah so cool car i like mm -hmm. it so now what is this 2009 nice. they made it huh yeah yeah oh another this classic car. this one's a soft spot for me near and dear to my, i mean we even had one on the podcast last week sl 65 yeah. black series easily one of the coolest cars yep uh of the 2000s i mean just look at the fender flares and that's all i gotta say hood vents fender flares everything is perfect is it a supercar though yes easy like is that a question 700 something pound feet of torque from factory no, it, it is a cool car i'm <laughs> not messing with you guys no, that, that, that was uh that was that was a good one i, I like that yep it's on our toes <laughs> noble m12 see I, I don't like it i this is interesting for me i have a personal connection with this car um my grandparents used to have a beach house in long branch which is a pretty popular place in jersey to go uh, we were walking out in the village. I must have been 10, 11 years old, just starting to like cars. There was a, a, red, a red Noble M12 with a black interior just chilling outside. And I go up to it and I'm like, what, what is this thing? The dude comes out of the, whatever store he was in and he actually opened up the the hood and the rear so i could see the engine he read it for me and it honestly made my day i i love this thing they're iffy for me i've seen one and I've that, that was the only one i've ever seen also i've had the opportunity to see a couple no big deal no uh, or <laughs> attack v6 I yeah mean, it, it, it's kind of like i a, feel i don't know it's tough for me because from what this I saw, one of those cars that not many people know about. Exactly. If you're, if you're a young kid and impress, and yeah, yeah. Impress, impressionable. I can't speak. Young mm -hmm. kid, it's a cool car to just see. I mean, anything, anything with a wing is. And cool. it, I was just about to say, if it has a wing and it's low oh, and yeah. it looks weird, yeah. People love it. yeah. 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 Yep. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So it gets it gets a cool rating. Five nine nine GTP. I mean. You know, we all know about eh, we can skip. <laughs> it, I mean, it, it existed. Yeah, <laughs> I like the GTO. We all do. <laughs> Spiker C8. Now, this is a very interesting car, and in fact, there's yep. one here in town uh, because there's someone that we all know who has one, and his name is John Cena. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -ba. I don't know how he fits in here, and it's uh, it has the R8 V8, uh, the 4.2 liter. RS4 V8. If we're being oh, yeah, that, which is the RS4 motor, yep. <laughs> I met John Cena. I parked his car when I was the parking <laughs> attendant at Fresh Kitchen. No Fresh way. I did. <laughs> what Super did he have this guy? Range. Yeah, he was driving a Range Rover. Expected. What do you guys think? Do you like the C8? I, the, my favorite thing is that is the way the gear shifter is on this. Yeah, I was going to say the interior is probably the best. My favorite part. That car. And I'm ricer like that. I like the hood. I mean, the whole, if I'm not mistaken, the whole car is supposed to kind of look like an airplane. Yeah. It, it, it is like. supposed to have aeronautical themes. We'll put it that yeah, way. Yeah. You like the hood vents, Armand? I like the hood vents. It's kind of, or just the hood vent. That one big one in the middle, I like that. Oh, one. yeah. Well, the other that, one's next to it. You little know bit what's interesting? I, how does this open up? There's no body line. Does it just open up this way? Like a, clamp, yeah. like a reverse clamshell? Yeah. I, I think the does. whole thing. Yep. That's interesting. The engine might be in the rear, no? It is in the rear, but Yeah. I, or it's mid-engine, but that, that's I would I would have to google that. Lexus LFA. Now, this is a very interesting car. I remember when I when I bought my first so my first car, my parents got it for me. It was a well we'll just say it's a Honda. We'll talk about our first cars one day. So I don't want to spoil what my first car was, but it was a Honda. Uh, I, I used that through college, but you know, when I graduated, I started making a little bit of money. I bought my first car, which was CLS 55 AMG. It was pre-owned at the time. At the Lexus dealership that I bought it at, uh, there was a brand new LFA 
that was at that time, I think it was probably like two years old and still hadn't sold. So it was yep, one of them. I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah. It was one of the X amount of cars in the country that still hadn't sold, but this is, it's just a cool car. I mean, the V10 from Lexus, exhaust tuned by Yamaha. Yep. I just personally think it's an extremely cool car, but the reason it didn't sell was the price. I yes. have mixed opinions on this car, personally. I know it sounds weird. I personally think it's overrated. Why? It's not even underrated. What are you talking about? Like, what? What? Nobody talks about. I know, but the people that do like it. Oh, because it's all the JDM. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's a weird car for me. Not weird in terms of okay. It it looks great. The 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 culture around it is weird. The car is cool. Culture around it. Number one. Number two. I saw it in person. We were there. Remember Dupont, the white one. Yeah. I was there. I was underwhelmed by the exhaust. It sounds great. Well, maybe there's a, a valve or something that they didn't turn on. But I don't know. It was just, I don't know. I, have I remember weird. when this car first came out, I went to Festivals of Speed in Orlando, and I sat in one. It was red with red interior. It was the most disgusting looking car, but it was. You have a really cool green color. Apparently, you peel it off, and it becomes, or it, it's white or gray or something. I just saw it on Instagram. Um, apparently, it's like, white or something white or gray and you peel it off the paint comes off and it's green underneath that's interesting yeah the nurburgring edition of this car i think that's the only color you could get it on oh no uh if it's the guy i think you're talking about his is uh he put the topaz film on there so it's like a autoflex basically it's like a plasti dip with a clear coat on it yeah i was wondering what that was did that to his nurburgring edition yeah yeah all right Zach, I'm just going to leave Zach. this one to you, my friend. <laughs> this, is pers- this car is one of my personal favorite cars. It's a- it actually was my background on my laptop for over like five years. Actually, one of the reason I know you guys you inadvertently is because of this car. It- I was sitting next to this kid in class freshman year, Sultan. Hope you're watching. He's and <laughs> he had a GT3 as his background. The Revent, the Revaton is my <laughs> background. And we just started, it was the first day of school. We were both freshmen. We hit it off mm-hmm. right then. And it was because of this. And this is before car. Tinder, guys. So this, this yeah. is. Yeah. Tinder. Tinder started in like 2012, 2013. This was, I'm not gonna this say was right, right around there. there. Right around there. there. Nothing there. about Tinder. <laughs> Revaton's cool. I like, yeah. I like them. And it also inspired most of Lamborghini's cars today. The, the, oh, yeah. the design language of this car, yeah. you see it on all the cars today. So it is one of their most significant cars in modern history. Have you, seen one? Not, but, huh? have you seen one in person? I have never seen one in person. If I could, it would be unbelievable. I don't know. I don't think I have either. I've I may have cars. seen one. I'm not sure, though. I'm I could be blank. I think I have a I picture. I feel like you would, you would remember that, though. You, you would know. I mean, you see some crazy stuff. I'm not a super big – this car is not – it doesn't do much for me. Uh, Again. What was that crazy, crazy – in Miami, on the street, with my brother, we saw a Sesto Elemento just driving. Oh, That's yeah. crazy. That was the most insane thing I've ever seen on the street. Dad. Who owns that car? I don't know, but There's, I saw well, with my brother driving on the street. Uh, what's that street in Miami, Armin? The the strip. Uh, Ocean, Ocean Drive. Ocean Drive. It was driving on Ocean Drive, and my brother and I were like, "Holy crap!" <laughs> that was before, that was before was Winwood. Uh, this episode. was actually before I. My parents didn't let me have a cell phone till later. And, <laughs> it was before I could pull it out and film. No but. Snapchat, no Snapchat. No Snapchat. So, <laughs> it, so it's funny you ask about Sesto Elemento. So one of uh, my close friends who lives in Qatar, he knows one of the guys over there that owns one of the Sesto Elementos. Oh, so. He sent me a video one day of the Sesto Elemento racing. So, like, I, I have to pull it up one day. I, you know, I have some interesting stuff in my archives from Middle East. That's... That's uh, maybe one day. Anyway, going back to the Revent, 
the Reventon. Um, it's it's an awesome car. I, I'm a big fan. It's a All great right. car. I, it I looks think like cool. a clip car to me. Aston one seven seven. See, I didn't realize it was all the way in oh nine. I thought this was like twenty thirteen for some reason. I I don't know. Just no, I mean, my mind. I have no opinion on this car. Well, they introduced <laughs> it. I mean, it. I've seen one in person. Like, it's really cool. Actually, we've all probably seen one because we saw one at Dupont Registry for. Yeah, we did, and I also all saw it at the, that auto, day. the I remember. Auto show. We were all together that day. Yeah, I was out there too. We and were. I mean, like, it's cool. Like, I don't have too much to say about it. I have a video of it somewhere turning on. It's kind of cool. Oh, now, oh my God! This, now this car. Is just be- it is crazy. Like, look at the scoops on the hood scoop and then the side vents. I mean, that, I always wondered: is that street legal? That thing? Yes, I believe so. Yes, um, they catch on fire, so it wouldn't be smart. <laughs> <laughs> Did one of these catch on fire? On Top Gear. That was the Zenvo. I Did think this. Thing, there's a video of this thing catching on fire. Hold on. Well, I, I do remember. While you look for that. I do remember Jeremy Clarkson said um, this car has so much, it produces so much downforce at speed that if you were to drive it upside down, it would stick to the roof. Yeah, I remember that Because too. of how the aerodynamics are set up, which is pretty insane. It's but you have to be such an to. interesting car. That's like a true, like if you're a true gearhead, this is the car for, and you have a lot of yeah, money. I mean, this is the yeah, car. I was going to say you have to have a lot of money because they didn't make a lot of these. I mean, this is. Yeah insane armin if you find it we'll come back to it but it's we... on gumball um the channel i just have it in my phone it caught it almost caught on fire it didn't catch on fire i think the clutch overheated or something i don't know whatever no big deal next up we got 996 gt2 now we see this at the mall all the time I, eric's got one well this is a 996 yes is that not the one he had he has a um 997 GT2. Got it, got it. Okay. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic car, it, it, especially in this guard's red color. I mean, it's it's just cool. I remember uh, early days of DuPont Registry Cars and Coffee. There was one that would show up. Like, he had just gigantic exhaust pipes. Like, it was, it was straight pipe. Like, it was just making all kinds of awesome noises. <laughs> and you could tell it was a GT2 because it, the GT2s always have a beefier spoiler with extra air intakes. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just, it's a sick car. I like it. 996, though. Not 996. I'm hating on all of these. I'm sorry. There, That one caught on fire for sure. Yeah, well, that's even what it says here, Ted. The most famous <laughs> lighting itself for flying itself on fire in the top of your test track. That's funny. I remember <laughs> a whole lot more about this. I watched the Top Gear episode recently on this. but What's behind it? It's a 599. Yeah. 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 SSC Ultimate Aero Twin Turbo. So, I don't really. I, know I never liked the look of this car. Yeah. It was kind of like a Celine, but like not. I yeah. Know. I've seen one. It was at uh, the uh, Vinoy Hotel in St. Pete. Hmm, my friend yeah. Valet is there. Shout out to Jason if you're watching. I don't think you are, but. Hey, well, uh, <laughs> he will if you send it to him. But that, I mean, it, it, it was just cool, but I never really took a liking to the car it was so very nuts that it overtook the veyron yeah and then the super sport beat it which yeah, that's what it says there, yeah. the r8 i i still look at these things and i think they're beautiful i i still think it looks modern personally every time i see one i get a little bit excited honestly i mean it's just i mean it's it's iron man like uh, you know uh, i don't know I feel like it got, it, it's dated, personally. They're still cool. It's definitely an iconic classic car, in my opinion. It'll always I mean, be where, I'm, where I Where I live in Jersey, you see a lot of these. And yeah. I mean, I, I personally am a big fan. The, the, the individual LEDs are what ages it, if you ask me. I think the yep. design looks great, but the individual yeah. LEDs, it makes it look a little... Yeah. I mean, but this is back when LEDs were first becoming a thing, if you remember. Yeah. Yep, it was pretty advanced. Ooh. <laughs> Alpha 8C. Wow. So some of you may not know this, 
but this car, it's a full carbon fiber body. Every yep. single body panel is carbon fiber. Uh, it has a Maserati, well, it's technically a Ferrari V8, but it's, it's basically a Maserati V8. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a gearbox out of a 430, I believe. And it's just, it is one of the most holy sounding cars that you will ever hear. And this yeah. car was released back in 08. And it has, and the, the exhausts are popping and growling and like on the downshifts of this car, the exhausts are popping like crazy. And this is before the whole exhaust popping fad became a thing. Um, they, they've, it's just incredible. They've held their value like crazy. I think this is going to become a very collectible car in the future. Yep. I wouldn't know about this car if it wasn't for you showing me videos of it. That yeah. too, yeah. It's amazing. Yep. Awesome. Jeremy Clarkson thought it was one of the most terrible driving cars, which is true. But he said it's also just a work. He This was the Top Gear episode where they said, can a car be art? And he said, absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, my mom has an Alpha and it's... <laughs> well, we'll get to that later. Iconic. The Bugatti Veyron. Dude, I don't care what anyone says about this car. It's I iconic. Know. It looks great. It's I personally don't like the look of it. I think it's I think it's hideous, but I don't with it is very iconic. It is a it's a good car. I just I've think never, it's ugly. It, it, it to me, I I think it looks it's it has presence. It looks like yeah. a serious car and the, this specific one, this is a first generation because it doesn't have the LEDs, headlights, or anything like that. Yeah. This looks like a 90s concept car, which is yeah. pretty, it's just, it's just yeah. sick. Like, there's not one straight line on this car. Yeah, you see the grill, and you know exactly what it is. Like, it's yeah. so iconic. This car was my wallpaper. I was obsessed with this car. Yeah. I have a picture of myself standing in front of Rick Ross's Bugatti at the Fountain Blue. Wow. I forget. Uh, I'm black. I was uh, <laughs> I was like pretty young when this car came out. Like, so Armin, you were like four years old. I was like six, five, six. <laughs> Dang, he defensive much? I had I had a desktop a picture on my desktop of uh, the blue and silver one was my favorite. Mm. I love that car. It's still super iconic. Lose, he's sick. Yeah, just gonna put that out there. All right, what's next? <laughs> ZR1. So, classic. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just, I still think even today, the C7 is one of the best designs of any Corvette. I like it better than C8. I like it better than the C7. The C6, C6, did I call it the C7? Yeah. I, I call it the C6, I think, uh, but not the C7. But anyway, C6, I think, is the probably the best, my favorite design of the Corvette. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, of course, sure. split window back in the day was beautiful, but there's just something about the C-Split. I, I always associate this gen with NASCAR. What? Yeah. Oh, I know exactly why. Yep. You know I, why. I know exactly why. I always associate this gen with NASCAR. Why? Tell them why. Well, <laughs> you, you I don't know you're, why you're thinking, but... Jeff Gordon had like 10 of these and he was always on YouTube talking about them. I remember it from Herbie Fully Loaded, the movie with Lindsay Lohan. It was oh, her drag racing. Exactly. Herbie against Jeff Gordon. No, no, don't, no, never mind. Ignore what I said. He was driving a GTO, but same thing. Same. Whatever. He still thought about it. <laughs> I'll never forget the first one of these that came into town back in the day when your boy, like 11 years ago, was doing YouTube. I had the first video on a ZR1. When it burnt, and all it was was it turning on and giving a little rev and I was just like oh my god and then the video and uh, they gave Eli Manning one of these when he won the Super Bowl when I was in middle school like 07, 08 whenever the Giants won the Super Bowl so cool car uh, so a Jets yeah, fan but uh, and also be prepared because the fanboys are coming uh, Fresh Kicks on YouTube just bought one so all the 350 Z boys are gonna start getting into these so be prepared for that logical next step i guess insurance values are going to go up yep <laughs> challenge stradale oh, i remember this car very well um it's 
I personally am a fan. A lot of people aren't, but I love it. I think it's amazing. It's definitely dated, but I love it. That's <laughs> but I don't mind that. Like it looks amazing. I don't think it's that dated. I think it looks significantly newer than the when wheels it, are what date it. The what? The wheels are what make it look yeah. dated. Yeah. yeah. The BBSs or whatever they were. Yeah. I guess. If you throw like a like a newer set of BB like BBS LMs on there or something like that, it, it's nice. It's so I, I happen to like this car. But it sounds amazing. It's the best sounding Ferrari of all time, in my opinion, behind the FXX. Well, I think the 355 is also pretty damn good. Yeah, that thing's pretty iconic too. Yeah. Iconic, iconic exhaust notes. That's another topic. Okay, no, we'll, we'll do. That's going to be a good video. <laughs> that's when we another do that. video. <laughs> Next up, so this is the one car that I would take in Ferrari's lineup over the 360 if we're talking that range. I like the Scud better than the Challenge Stradale. Just because I agree. The Scud is just yeah. something else altogether. I agree. Uh, cool car. Actually, uh, when we went to Vegas um, maybe three years ago, we did one of the driving experiences, and I believe Sultan drove one of these around the track. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was in Entourage. Uh, they drove them around the track, too. I remember that. I was watching. Yeah. I binge-watched it. So. <laughs> Entourage was a good show. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing. Does anyone remember the movie Redline, the opening scene? Yes. Oh, my <laughs> God, yes. Dude. <laughs> Armin, who was, the, who was the guy that crashed it? Oh. Why? In the he movie, was a, the the comedian. Life. Comedian. Comedian. Wow. Oh, anyway, he, this car is more than iconic. No, oh, yeah. Look at Vulcan looking it up. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Griffin. Griffin. Ah, you don't remember this? Oh! Oh! oh. Oh my god. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yo, I love that guy. Awesome. He was actually in the movie too. He was in Redline, I think. I don't know. I know he was in Norbit though. Did you hear? Hey, he was in Norbit. He was a pimp. Yeah. No, he, he was in Redline. I'm pretty sure he drove the no, they, uh, they just said he was he was in the movie Redline. That's yeah. why that's he was driving the four GT in the movie. Oh my god! Shout out to that dude that um, that Salt Flats car. You know about that? No. Uh, There's some guy who drove it on the Salt Flats and it has like a, a lot of miles. The Enzo? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah, epic car. Love it. Ah. Wow. Well, Another good one. Well, you could take this one, Vulcan. Yeah, yeah there's sure. really not much that needs to be said here. The the Ford GT, it is just, it is one of the most special, raw, and just unique cars that uh, came out of this era. Uh, you know, looking back, the amount of value and the amount of car you got for the price that you paid, oh, and the yeah. fact that you look at that same car today and that it's still able to hold its own, and it's just the pure unique factor of it it, mm -hmm. it i mean there's not a whole lot that that i actually this before you even got one was one of my favorite cars and back in 2012 when they were still extremely cheap i was this close to convincing my dad to buy it, it was between that and a 911 oh my god I, oh, <laughs> this was his thing this was my dad's thing I don't buy used cars. Used cars are somebody else's headache. Why would I buy Ooh, someone yeah. else's headache? And I'm like, Dad, just just do it. Just do something cool. And he <laughs> went with the 911. But, I mean, honestly, and as we know, this car tripled in price since that time. So, Dude, think about whatever, it. Those cars were a bargain. 100 yeah. grand and you can have one. I can't imagine. I can't. I mean, of course, 100 grand back then was you know, probably still – quite a bit compared to today if you think about inflation yeah. but not that man i mean yeah. it guys this car there let's there's gonna be a lot more Ford gt content on this page coming you'll find out yeah, more. There will. yeah. And also on the down well not down low i'm announcing it on camera and i've already told armand and several others i am actually working 
on building one. A mm-hmm. kickoff. I I haven't bought anything yet. It's just in my mind. Kramer I, wants a race car really bad. I, I really want a race car, and I've chosen a kick car for GT40. I don't know the specifics yet. I'm still working on it, but within the next five years, I mean, potentially will be one somewhere. Uh, give yourself a little bit more buffer on that one because the, even the GT40 race cars – they I know, they're 80 to 100 grand. I've already priced it a lot. Oh, well, if you want to get a decent one, you're going to be paying much more than that, I assure you. <laughs> yeah, so but we'll, we'll, hell we'll, of a we'll car. get into that. We'll, we'll get, get into that later, but hell of a car. The channel blows up, and I'm making some money. <laughs> <laughs> Koenigsegg CCX. Yeah, I mean, Beautiful. this car, it. it's, it's awesome. I mean, what? <laughs> that's yeah. all there is to say about it. Dodecahedral... No, dihedral synchro helix actuation doors. That's what it's actually called. Dihedral yeah, synchro right. helix actuation. And on that note, uh, Koenigsegg is one of my favorite manufacturers. Just, it's great. We'll move on. Yep. Okay, guys. Wow. Now, this is all you again. Uh, speaking of cars to add to the future stable. Look how high that is. This, oh my dude, God. why would you, please, Dance. look at how high you can lower it. Lower it, you're not gonna. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Dance system. snob over here, man. Anyway, oh, look at this, a 98,000, 54,000 mile example. Okay, anyway, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do some more hunting on okay, that later. But this, Let me, uh... this specific car, the 08 Superleggera, is one of the most, raw and just incredible iterations of the Gallardo you can have. Like when you get into the LP cars, like the 560s and the 570s, Superleggeras and the Performantes and stuff. I don't know about the uh, Squadra course. Like I'm sure that's a hell of a car too, but this car is more raw than all of those. I can tell you from experience. That's a 570. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it looks... No. Well... <laughs> It's yeah. still a super Legera. I was waiting to show someone that. He had that ready with the quick. He was ready on that. Great <laughs> car. Love it. I would, I would love to have one in the future. This, this specific model year. I'd even do it in yellow. I would do it in Grigio Telesto. I would do it in, gre- in black Grigio Telesto. I mean, any color is good on this car. But yellow, I, the reason yellow strikes out to me, I've seen a couple of them in yellow. Um, and I, I, when I was younger, it just really – I was very, it, I was very impressionable by this car. Like it, it was just, especially in yellow when I saw it, I'm like, damn, it's, it's very sick. cool car. It's just very wow. cool. Speaking of yellow, very cool cars. Mercy, Iconic. I mean, one of my favorites. Hot Pursuit. Yeah. Dark Knight. Oh look, it, it even says Chris Nolan's Dark Knight. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. I was the only guy in the theater that cringed when this car got hit in the Dark Knight. Same. I was like, Ooh, and nobody else, and they all started laughing when they heard me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a limo. They probably don't even know what it is. Yeah, it's amazing. But wow. basically, Reventon, no extreme body kit, no fighter pilot. You know, Did they extreme. actually crash it in the movie? I don't know. I don't know. I think this, in my opinion, I like it more than the Reventon. What? The Reventon looks like a kick car of this to me. Well, I mean, it's shots a, fired. I shots mean, you're fired. not wrong. It's it's a body <laughs> kid. <it's>, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right. I like this more. It's understated, but not super understated. MC-12. Here is a. Uh, would would you would you call this a Targa top Enzo? That's more rare. <laughs> yeah, and less money. Way less money. Are they less money? Way less money. Yeah, <laughs> way less. It's more rare too, so this is. I love a, watching the YouTube video of that guy ripping it in the snow. You know the one I'm talking about. Oh yeah, great video. Epic, yeah. MC12, great car. And it was brand new when he was doing that. Ooh, oh. Oh. I, I let you Ooh. take this. One. Ooh. Wow, amazing! Look at it. Doors go up. This is Vulcan told me. Well, besides the F1, it was the fastest car until the Veyron well, came. It was, it was actually the fastest automatic transmission car in the world. Yep. 
I don't care. That's torque converter. Actually, and Top Gear raced this car against some refined. Mercy Lago, and it smoked it. Yep. Right. It's a great episode. It's a little bit of everything. You get a little bit of rawness. You get a little bit of uh, refinement. You get everything. You get the, the doors. The you get the long good. hood exhaust. You get They're right the, there in front of your foot and your window. So if you do a cat delete, yep. you're just going to get poisoned to death. So, you know, but at least it here's, sounds great while you're driving it. Here's my question for you guys. Yes. Because you, you're both Mercedes freaks. <laughs> Would you rather have one of these or an SLS black? SLS black. Vulcan is on one. the edge here. It's a tough one. I'm, it is a tough one. I, I know. The SLR. only reason I know is because no, I was thinking about this. SLR. Okay. I do the SLR all day. Uh, so Come on, Arm, and spit it out. I said no. SLR is black, but I'm, I'm I believe that. The, no, but that's new age. That's 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 your generation, Armin. This is my yeah. generation. Yeah. It's true. Dude, the SLR was so sick, though. It's just. I'll it's never so forget so watching the game plan and the Rock just getting out of it, and I'm just like, "Oh my god!" And everyone else yeah. Ooh, in the dude, movie theater was like, "What the hell?" Oh my god! I forgot <laughs> about that movie. Oh my ah, god. Ah, we spoke about this last you week. Who would have thought that I made this list? By the way, <laughs> by the way, I released a video on Monday about this car. Shout out yeah, to my go watch that. I'll, I'll, um, I can, I can link that. Ah, all right. <laughs> I'll link that. Just remind me. Just remind me. I'll link it. Uh, <laughs> Nissan GTR. I mean, it broke records for the price, especially. Um, now the prices are uh, way too high. I mean, it's way too high. But the um, was the same, it would be awesome, but it's not so. Yeah, I mean, in yeah. in what? But were they new? Uh, like when they dropped in 09? Excuse me. What, what, how much did they cost in 09? They're like 70 grand. Brand oh, new. Yeah. All day. Yeah. There's a reason oh, that car was – everyone had one and everyone wanted one was that price. Oh, no, not everyone had – I mean, it was – Honestly, this car, it was very special anything. when it first came out. I mean, it's oh, – yeah. it I, I do see a lot around here, but overall, you don't see too many. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just – I've seen a lot at car meets, so it's like – Yeah. I would do another one. Pagani Zonda. Fun fact about this car. On Bring a Trailer right now, there is a vehicle that has a Pagani engine in it. That's not a Pagani engine. It's the engine out of an SL73 AMG. Oh, maybe. So AMG had a 7.3 liter V12. That... um. It's funny because all those cars got bought up by Zonda owners for one reason. The same engine that was in that car, they used in the Zonda. I did not know that. So a lot of the people that have Zondas and let's say they need an engine, instead of just getting an engine, they get an SL73. If they're going out of the way, out of their way to do that, it sounds like it's an unreliable junker. No, <laughs> next. I don't know. Next. <laughs> oh, Carrera GT, sore topic. Very honestly, as iconic as this car is, with everything that happened last week and with Paul Walker, I oh, feel really? like it's kind of a demon car these days. What do, what do, what do you think? No. It, they're, they're notorious. I put it that way. They're notorious. Yeah. It's the Widowmaker. Literally the Widowmaker, not the yeah. GT2. Because I guarantee more people have – been in no because there's not enough of these there's more gt2s and rear you know rear bias yeah. turbo porsches but i mean Carrera gt it has one of the whole i think it has a better engine note than the lfa um oh, i agree 100 percent. just the form factor i'll never forget the uh the the uh the road and track magazine that i picked up i was at barnes and noble in 2004 and I saw Porsche's new Carrera GT. I'm like, what is this? Like, it doesn't look like a 911. Like, what is that? You know, even as a younger kid, I, I, I kind of knew that kind of stuff. But then I never realized this was the car. But it's just amazing. Yeah, Staring I first up. saw this car in an episode of Zoe 101. Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? 
you were so dude, right. I forgot dude, about that. You know, I borrowed my dad's car, or he yeah. like bought a car on his dad's credit card, and it was a Carrera GT. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was a Nickelodeon show. This dude. kid falls out and buys one in his dad's credit card. Yeah. <laughs> dude, this right, car. The last car. What do you think the last car is going to be? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of cars. Carrera G. I mean, what did we miss? Yeah, what? Carrera G. What's we got the Holy Trinity? <laughs> um, huh. Then if it says like Mustang Cobra or something. I know, right? I'm, this is very all right. You guys ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh. Saving S seven. Well, we kind of spoke about it earlier. I guess that's why it wasn't in our heads. Yeah. yeah. Big fan. Uh, 50 Cent Bruce had Almighty. one of these in uh, Entourage. Yeah, and Bruce Almighty. <laughs> yeah. All of Armin's Entourage mess, uh, references. I binge watched eight seasons. Man. This quarantine has got me going crazy. Let me tell you, Entourage, <laughs> they went all out for that show. They had some nice stuff. And I watched the movie. Great. Too. Great. Yep. I loved it. Twin Turbo model, too. The only one to get. All right, our second topic. Of all the right, night. guys. I don't remember what it was. No, it was uh, the, the best cars under 10 grand. Because of the VIN wiki thing. This is going to be a realistic list. So here's my, here's the thing. Exactly. Most of the cars that VIN wiki stated was the E46 M3, which as you guys know, I just bought one. Vulcan used to have one. Armand is swapping his E36 to have the engine of one. So we all have a lot of experience with this car. You're not getting one for under 10 grand in good shape. In good shape. You, you put a lot of money into yours to That's make true. it nice. Um, <laughs> I was actually about to buy one for, ten, for literally 10 grand. It was a red slick top manual with 190,000 miles on it. What's a slick a top? A bunch of maintenance. No, it wasn't a bunch of maintenance. It was, and no accidents. But the problem is, a hundred thousand ninety mile. How how much more are you gonna go on the stock block and the stock train? Like, what more are you gonna do? Like, I mean, dangerous. you're not gonna go far because let's be I honest. I spent an extra three grand. I got my car for thirteen grand, and I got a car with a hundred and three thousand miles on it. I got very lucky. I found a very nice one for cheap. Hold on, you're Hold in on. that car for twenty grand now, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that's a different story because all the maintenance I did was preventative. I spent five thousand to do the subframe reinforcement, which we found out while five thousand. We I also did bushings, but it didn't need bushings. But I did them. Just bushings are like a hundred dollars. Should. Yeah, but the labor to do bushings is not a hundred dollars. It's a yeah. lot. Yeah. Um, when I bought the car, not a single light was on. Um, and it was actually, I actually didn't need to do anything. I Wait, what happened the next day after you bought the car? Yeah. Just so they know. The day after I bought the car, the check engine light came on, but it was for a cheap fix. It was a hundred hours to fix. All right. It was a cheap <laughs> fix. And what was it? It was the Vano solenoid. Of course it is. Vano's solenoid pack. It's a hundred hours. Oh, I really want to delete mine. It's a 20 minute job. Like I, whatever. So it, get, it gets gunked up and you got to replace it. It's fine. But, if anyone recommends a van, I'll still let me know. But anyway, you're not getting a clean car for under 10 grand. I'm sorry. It's not. Okay. Clean. So yeah. E46 out of the equation. Oh, out of the equation. Completely. E36, 100% in the yep. equation. That car for 10 grand, you'll find a super nice one. Not really. Not really. Really? Not really. Dude, I've been looking lately in the group. There's been like. 10 cars. Pop. Maybe they've gone off in the last six months. Dude, but. a nice one now is like 15 grand. Let's really? go on a trader. And I'm talking about like 120,000 mile cars for 15 grand. I started a trend. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> you know, I don't know how you did what you did, honestly. I don't I am like, God, by the way. He doesn't even know I what he did. I didn't tell you guys this. Someone made me an offer on my E46. I said no, but they made me an offer, and it's just as ridiculous as the offer I got. No on the E36. way. No way. Yep. We'll talk $20, about $20,000 plus his B5 S4 
Nagaro Blue. At minimum, that car is worth six grand. At minimum. Okay, so then. basically someone this offers not- 26 grand. Zach, <laughs> let's 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 bring come back to reality. Let's put our let's put our, our logic hat on. And who in their right mind would do that? <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name. He's a good friend of mine, but <laughs> is it? But that mm-hmm. happened yesterday. I said no. You should have said yes. They make the E36 M3. Well, 95 to 99. 95 to 99. Yeah, but 95 is a different engine. You, you don't want a 95. It, they're actually not bad. I don't know why Zach hates it. I don't, I don't want a 95. Go to, go to sword by price as well. All right. So, sword so, uh, by. 23 grand? Holy Lowest. Oh, look at this! It's a lightweight with yep. seventy-four thousand dollars. Waste. Convertible? Nope. Another convertible? Nope. All of these manual? No, oh. there was automatics. I'm guessing that silver one is auto. Whoa! Actually, the Dang. car yellow sedan. Someone needs to hop on that right that's now. Cool. Eight grand, hundred and fifteen k. That's at least a fourteen thousand dollar car. Why is it so Whoa. cheap then? I'm sure it's totaled or something. Or I'm an, thinking. Even is it an auto? Yeah, it's an auto. Is it? Doesn't look it's like it. It's an yeah, auto. It is. It's fine. It's like five hundred bucks to swap, and I'll have a transmission for it. If anyone wants it, hit me up. <laughs> oh my god! No accidents. Non-smoker. Yo, him. someone needs to hop on this. Ace. That's actually a good deal. That's a great deal. And wow. you can probably get it so, cheap now. But you know, I was gonna say that's like six. Yeah. Damn. Oh, if I wasn't swapping my car already. Uh, All right, so, let's see. so it goes from 9,800 to 17. Oh, that's a sponsored ad. Yep. Another sedan, 140,000. I mean, the mileage is just insane on these cars. But they're so reliable. They go. Are they? As much as, the yeah, as, much, as much as I went through with my E36 to get it to where it was, it never broke down. It never left me stranded. It always cranked. Mm-hmm. Like Shout out to Mitch. Was... Shout out to Mitch on that one. <laughs> That's literally Mitch's same car. That's a clean but one. Honestly, clean. as much as I give BMW like crap, that that's nice. That a store blue one. Two oh four. That's what they're gonna be for that money. Yeah. But now three thirty sixes are going up. You can go thank back. me because I sold yeah. mine. By some god's miracle for twenty grand. That hell wrong. One hundred and sixty thousand miles on it. Yeah, but I still cannot believe that. That's the Rob Freddy giveaway car, by the way. Rob Freddy car at Prestige. <laughs> that's great, dude. But honestly, as much as I give BMW crap, the E thirty six mine has never left me stranded. It has leaked coolant at a car meet, but well, you're mine, also afraid to bring it out to our favorite driving road. That's I am afraid. Yes. Oh, now, not when this right, one now is, let me done. show you. We, we spent too much time on BMW. Let allow me to show this you is, which car it. I would recommend for under ten grand. Yeah, where is that? Oh, there it is. There we go. Yep. I mean, Here we go. I, I think these went up in value too. I don't they think did. they, they did. They did, but ooh. here we go. And oh wait, hold on now. Um, no, no, it's fine. Keep the two ten in. Give the two ten some love. I don't like the 210. All right, fine. 7,900 right there. We only have 17 results in the entire U.S. 7,900. Yes. I don't like the wheels. I, I think I they're like great the cars. I, as <laughs> they're you, really you expensive know, now. I almost <laughs> bought one instead of the E46, as you guys know. But I didn't know you almost bought one. I did. I didn't know you bought actually one. talked me out of it. Who? You. No, I said buy the E55. No, you said you think I wouldn't like yeah, it. Yeah, that, yes. But I would have. So you talked me out of it. Look, and no, I said. Jacked up from bumper two, and they still want eight grand. Gary Lowe fixes that 600 bucks. I just bought an E63 bumper from him. It's a good guy. It's going on. Gary there. Lowe? Yep. Look at this. Is he related Look to Jeff Lowe? Lowe? No, not related to Jeff Lowe. That's a good price. <laughs> Look at this. 105,000 miles, 8,900 bucks. Phoenix? Dang, I was just there. Has to have an accident. You should get one and drive it back. 
Oh, yeah. that would be such a fun. That would be so fun. Look how perfect this is. It's so probably been an accident. Rust in Phoenix. No rust, yeah. One sixty on the dash because it's an old. Oh 03. God, it has. What is? Wait, hold on. What is this? It's Android an t- head unit. Yeah, it's a different head unit, but it has the OEM look to yeah. it. Oh wait, no, this is different. This is an aftermarket head unit. Mm-hmm. All right, hold on. Let's see. Here we go, boys. In an accident, yeah. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent. It's all been an accident. Come if on. it's not been an accident, send me the link because the sport line sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What is happening here? This is that Corona internet. <laughs> all right, we don't need to check, but that may eventually load. But so you see, we we've got um, still under ten grand. Under ten grand. Ooh, 84,000 miles, 11 grand. Design, yo. That's, there's something fishy about this. Yeah, this is not. Yeah. You okay? Get sale. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that picture. Of me. This is awful. They have to ruin it. Jeez. Oh, branded title on that Phoenix yeah, car. That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, that's Salvage cool. rebuild. Oh, I'm out. All right. Yep. Look, but now they're shooting up. 14, 15. Yeah, they're going up. What the, the heck? Tents. Sub 100,000 mile two tens are worth 15 grand. This is insane. Thanks to bring a trailer on that one. Well, that uh, one's I'll, I'll mention, big. oh, this is cool. This has the, what are these the Brabus wheels? Those are Brabus wheels, but the ones above it, I think are Rentec wheels. Pompano Beach, Florida. Oh man, this is. This is good business right here. 40,000 40, miles. Looks like almost a brand new car. And well, you know he got those wheels as an option from the dealer. Right, we're supposed to be talking about cars for 10 Gs. Oh, sorry. I got distracted. What am I doing? Way over. 24 grand. You Mercedes yeah. guys. I don't trust All right. Guys. What else do we got? So S2000. Very, S2000s are expensive, Armin. They're 10 grand. All right. Let's see. Armin is when I when I first asked Armand about this challenge and I say they have to be running, he goes, Who said they had to be running? <laughs> <laughs> Eighty nine hundred, baby. See one hundred and seventy thousand miles. It's a Honda. I, I don't want a hundred and seventy five thousand. An engine miles. rebuild on these costs like three hundred bucks. No, it doesn't. It has to be You more. have the most random statistics. You're skipping over the white one with a hundred. There you go. Here's the Armand special right here. Dude, Good price. I would keep that wing on there too. I know you would. <laughs> That's so bad. I hate that color. I'm sorry. What? Well, it's right at ten grand. Good price, apparently. Why are they all blue on blue is what I want to know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who in their right mind? That car has been for sale for a while. That one with the white wheels. The uh, fifteen fifty two wheels. Yep. Ugh. Man, yeah, awesome. so I, you know that if I did one, it would be an AP2 yellow car, like the one that I was trying to buy off your neighbor before I found the, the Mini. Yeah. Here's one that you can actually get for 10 Gs in good condition. Let's hear it. The 4.7 V8 uh, Mustang GT. That's a sensible thing to say, Zach. Yeah. I'm a sensible guy sometimes. But – I also don't see you in a Mustang. Not I'm at not all. About, I, I would never do it. I it's would, a new I, haircut. Right, right now, so let's just – um, It's just a new haircut. <laughs> let's just go back then because Zach's never going to do that properly. <laughs> um, don't I wonder – you... Don't even go to Boxster. Dude. Wait, why am I a Porsche and it's still saying Ford? Hold on. Here we go. You can all do right. a first-gen Boxster. You can actually do some pretty cool stuff to those cars. I've seen some cool stuff done to them. You, did you see that shooting break those kids made? Yeah. That was, a that was awesome. Battle. No? Oh, what? That was a grand. 05. Here you go. You can talk them down to 10 grand. This oh, yeah. is a lot of car for the money, I tell you. And if it's manual, which is not <laughs> – Whatever. <laughs> That's awful. Manual, which is look at. This is awful. That's <laughs> awful, man. Automatic, man. It's gotta be a. It's gotta be a manual, dude. 
I'm out. But you can get you can get a decent car for under ten grand. I know that for a fact. Oh, another one. Um, the Volvo 850R. That's definitely more. Than I've 10 never grand. once hit the Volvo button on when I'm searching for these cars. Which one is it? 850R. It's a very cool car. Um, yeah, 850 right there. Yeah, just 850. Maybe you'll find one. Not for 10 grand. They're really not. They're really hard to find. Dude, there we go. You're probably or T5R. T5Rs are sick too. Check if they have any of those. They're actually better, but nada. Wow. You're not gonna find them, and it's not gonna be under ten grand. I don't know what you're talking. About. Yeah, you. It's gonna be around ten grand, ten five. It's not. Dude, it is. Boys. All right. Let's see. Okay. I'm. Ooh. I mean. Civic I, SI. Yeah, you could easily, very it's easily. Actually, it's actually okay. I'll. I'll but I'll I'm talking out. about the good one. I'm not talking about the. Ninth gen. I'm not talking about the eighth gen. I'm talking about EM1 Civic SI. What year is that? Ooh, I don't the know the is sick too. The blue one. Ooh. What year wow. are we capping this off at? Like 2010. Oh, let's do 12. Okay, you can do 12, but 12 they started in style, I think. Oh, those are hideous. Those are yeah, horrible. The bad body the sucks. Sorry. Yeah, but they're all like around ten grand. Look how many twelves are? Yeah, I mean, this is a great car. Look, this is when I was getting my my first Honda. This was uh, this was brand new at the time. Go to sort by year. Damn, you're old. <laughs> that one's bad too. The the like hatch thing that they. Uh, I didn't like the hatch and the gear shifter is like a truck. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Go to sort by year and see like the older ones, how much they're going for, because I know they're going up in price. Actually, uh, Alex's good friend Eddie had one of these, and it was actually fifteen grand. What? Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, we should have topped on that one, but you didn't listen. What is going on here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, but this 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 is what it's listed for. This is not what it's going to sell for. Selling for this much? Bring a trailer. They're like really expensive. That's absurd. I would so buy one. All right, let's do a couple more and uh, ten, grand. ten grand. Can you get can you get a Nismo three fifty for ten? No, no. they're probably still like fifteen. Not, not a Nismo. And now they're going up in value because of fresh kicks. So thank you, Z great. boys. I want to see what's the cheapest Ferrari. In the it used US. to be what? What is it called? The Mondial. The Ma- The cheapest in the U.S. Wow, you should buy that. 348, so it lights on fire. Actually, wow. There's no way it just goes up in price like that. No, you're, these are all sponsored. Oh, wait, hold no. on. This is within 50 miles. My bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, look, here's your <laughs> Super America. 400 grand. Yeah, wow. right on the money. <laughs> All right, 31 grand, the Mondial. There it is. Oh, that's what I was talking oh, about. That's, whatever the heck they are. You know what's Dude, funny? That's when, so I was, bad. when I was looking for my first car, I was being stupid. I was looking at one of these. It actually had low, lower mileage than that. And this was back in 2011, 2012. It was like 12 grand. Yeah. Oh, my God. Cars have shot up in value. They yeah. Have. It's it's actually horrible. Three oh eight. When I was in college, there was a, a used car dealership um, by downtown. It had a white one. Twenty grand. Wow. And they also had a, a mid nineties NSX for like fifteen grand. That's just to give you an idea on these prices. Three forty eight. I mean, still a great car. I mean, saw one the other day. I would, I would do a three. Oh, four fifty six GT, twelve cylinder, at a Mazda dealership. Vegas? Dude, man, it's just thing, dude. Guarantee you could get a better deal than that if it's at the Mazda dealership. Oh, there's actually that. more cool yeah. cars behind it. Go back. Oh, there's I didn't even notice. Cars at this Mazda dealership. Hey, oh, Z06 and 911 Turbo. Yeah. Huh. 
That's a ZR1, I think. It no? Looks like an Audi dealership. Has a carbon roof. Look at all the Audis. That it's might like be a ZR1. You're right. That's interesting. Wow. Child yeah. So Mazda. this is one of those uh, Mazda dealerships that buys. No, that's a convertible Grand Sport. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Hey, but that's something next to it. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. Wow. Marin Mazda. 360. 360, 52 grand. I don't know what who of you was thinking buying that car for the challenge. By the way, I was about to film a video on the 360. This is why I can't stand for all people. Oh my god. The guy goes, Oh, we I was about to go film. I don't know if you knew this yet, Vulcan. I was literally about to go film. And he goes, Oh, uh, by the way. I don't let anyone drive my Ferrari. Did he, he not that know I, that you were going to drive it when yeah, you? I, like, first of all, that's a moronic thing to say. I'm going to re review the car, but he doesn't say I don't let anyone drive my car. I don't let anyone drive my Ferrari. Oh God, I can't stand that. My Ferrari. Then he goes, "This is a one hundred forty thousand dollar car we're talking about here. He only has it listed for a hundred grand. So what the what?" Yeah, I'm out. Not on to that. mention, it's a 360. Hey, can I can I tell you guys something? So, um, <laughs> last year I was in Sarasota. I was picking up the GT from service. That's where I get it serviced down there. And I stopped by the Lamborghini dealership, just uh, as you do when you pass by a Lamborghini de dealership. They had a uh, 1800 mile yellow Performante 2018, and um, it was $290,000. It had the carbon ceramic brakes. This one is two hundred and fifty. So in one year, the values have gone down another 40 grand. Just wait, they're gonna wow. go down even more. I mean, this is amazing. This, and I drove this car, and it is by far one of the best automotive experiences I've ever had. There's I, a white one for sale for 250. Yeah, I personally, I don't like the Huracan base form, but the Performante, I would, drive one of these this, um regular huracan you probably 144 grand wow that's cheap wow. for one of those that's a bargain for that for the amount of car that you get yeah but it's continuing to go down there are they're gonna be hundred thousand dollar cars just saying well, same obviously as they and they made like a no, there's so many of them out there's more of these than gallardo's and the gallardo oh. was the most Sold supercar back in the day. God, those wheels are so bad. I want to see what is the cheapest manual transmission Gallardo out there. Oh God, the 04s. Blah. Bad too. Oh six SE. Oh, the wheels. That's not, that's not bad. God, those wheels are still horrible. I agree on that. Oi. And a lot of Gallardo owners mess up the this fit. Not a manual. I hate when they call it a manual because, that, oh, God, yeah, these wheels are awful. You're right. Yeah, actually, I had the same problem when I was looking for the E46. Everyone thinks the SMG is a manual. And yeah, it's, awful. you're wrong. Yeah, look at this, 141,000. This is insanity. Insane. Ooh. Probably not a manual, though. So are we not talking about cars for 10 grand? Yeah, okay. We're no, we, 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 de we departed <laughs> from that. Sorry, guys. This is how things this, work. This around. is what happens when you start looking for cars. <laughs> this is how podcasts but... become an hour long. <laughs> Watch my latest video, and you'll see why Auto Trader is one of my favorite things to do. I just I get lost in so many rabbit holes. <laughs> we may have to cut that out. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, I mean, we're probably running on an hour already, boys. You want to call yeah, it? Yeah, I'm. I have nothing else to talk about. I yeah i mean i have a bunch of videos i'm going to be pumping out uh in the next few weeks so yeah what are your shout outs plug yourself if okay again if anyone has made it this far send me a message and again you will be rewarded in some way we will do something special once, for you. once we we're going to be doing this every week so i assume at some point people are going to start to like us maybe maybe not me we'll but see. maybe then not me but once we have t-shirts made <laughs> oh, the T-shirts. Then, then you know that's when that's you made it. Look at this, look at this enterprising man over here. He's like, <laughs> uh, time to make some money off this thing. We just do this for fun. Yep. For all five of you that watch, we do this for fun. So, in ten years, I'm gonna watch this just for the hell of it, and I'm gonna be like, wow.
Sweet. Sweet. Sweet name. <laughs> <laughs> coming in next week. Video's coming on the S54 build and I'm, I'm, for I'm all the other cars that are in the garage. I'm I'm waiting for your video. I've been waiting for five years, but okay. First video is going to be a walk around, but not getting much. But mm. headers are ordered. Shifter is ordered. We're ready. Literally, I just need the harness, and I think we're good. I, I want to see detailed videos of the swap. I want I want you in that oh, shop. Quarantine. All right. Wrench every this. Day. Wrench every day. Wrench every day. Wow. Let me tell you, Tavares is from about – He's from Jersey, like 20 minutes away from me, I think, roughly. Good guy. <laughs> okay. Funny guy. <laughs> Funny looking hair. All right. Great hair. Boys, that's been, that's been <laughs> the third podcast, but the first weekly commute that we did. Yep. This is a good one. Um, we're going to just switch up the topics every now and then. I mean, again, like, like I said before, it's just us hanging out, just talking about whatever, BSing around, making fun of each other. It's always We're going to have a guest yeah. on at some point. Give and us also, also, at some point, we're all going to get together, and instead of the podcast, we'll make a joint video. Yeah. Us. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. That'll for be sure. a fun time. So, all right, guys. Well, again. Signing off. Been- Another fun hour with you guys. Thanks for watching. If you did, if you didn't, yep. you know, you'll come around to it eventually. Don't a worry. little sum sum, a little like, a little subscribe we action. Huh? Y'all give us a little love, a little subscribing action. <laughs> I just need a blooper reel of Armin talking like big time. Big Tom. time Tommy. Dude. Oh, do it into your big new fresh Tommy. mic. Huh? Do it into your brand new mic. How you doing, YouTube? It's big time Tommy coming at you. Oh, we're making podcasts over here. Um, I sound like a used car dealer from New Jersey, even though that's what I was before Instagram, but it's okay because I'm big time Tommy. And Let me tell don't you forget that. Right? Take it, take it easy. Easy. Only, only the Italians talk like that, and they're not from Jersey. They're from Staten Island. Don't confuse Jersey with Staten Island. Oh, it's right? all the same. All area. those Jersey Shore Big people. Time, Tommy, I Staten love you so much. Island. Just know that. <laughs> I want to be in too. front of the video. <laughs> Grandpa. All right, guys, it's been fun. <laughs> we'll catch you next week. Peace. Peace.